Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a quick breakdown for you guys, man. Kind of give you guys an idea of the route concepts um, with Dirt Cutter. And again, you already know it's going to be the pros and cons, what I like, what I dislike, um, what the Falcons could do better, um, what they did great as far as the play calling. Um, this is just to be, you know, quite honest and, and show you guys exactly what uh, what needs to uh, continue to improve or the Falcons can expand on. Um, again, man, uh, for me, one thing that stands out for me is just the Falcons continuously to go vert vertical. Falcons just a vertical team. Everything is just going up for you. To me, I, I like this concept. I like this play. Um, you know, attacking the seams, attacking the corners, attacking the safeties. You have, you know, Hayden Hurst here. You have Russell Gage here. This is an excellent play that I like. Um, Falcons are actually attacking the safeties. This is something that the Falcons have to do more of. Not only attacking the safeties, attacking that slot corner, attacking the safety, and attacking the linebackers. For me, the Falcons run too many concepts where they are going vertical and not enough, you know, um, corner routes. They just don't do enough of that for me personally. So, um, again, man, you see Russell Gaze. I think this is an excellent um, play. Um, it didn't work out the way that I expect. Um, to be honest, I thought, if anything, the Falcons should have used um, Hayden Hurst as more of a, you know, attacking the seams. If he attacks the seam with the linebacker and the safety is, I think this is a much better play. Um, but again, uh, just a good play. A young that look, see, this is this is where I, I just don't like the play design. Like the play design, you're using the, it's, it's the same routes over and over. It's like watching a damn University of Georgia game on the Jake from where you just seeing hook routes at every level just every everybody run freaking hook routes everybody's running hook routes in the exact same area and instead of you know continuously attacking the seams and attacking the linebacker and attacking the safety he sits down this corner as uh, this the safety is able to kind of figure out um to kind of stay with russell gaze if he continues if 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 hayden hurst continues to attack the same man this play goals i think matt ryan can at least you know uh, uh, attempt I, I think he can complete this pass but being that you know the safety wasn't the tight end didn't you know attack the safety in the linebacker matt ryan um that play isn't as open as it should have been so it's like if he definitely here at this point if he continues down the field to attack this safety right here if he attacks that safety this play goes for at least 20 to 30 yards. So the Falcons have to, Dirt Cutter has to stop running these dang, you know, these curl routes with Hayden Hurst. Use this guy's speed. Use his ability. Like, this this guy has speed. There's no reason why he should be running curl the entire game. Use his ability to run. He's a big body guy. He needs to be running vertical. He needs to be attacking the scene. If the Falcons attack the scene, this is an easy completion to Russell Gaze in a big play. But no, he runs a he runs a curl route, and it basically it it forces the safety to get him. So if he continues to attack there instead of running that that seam route, this is a completion to Russell Gaze. So the play design here for me pretty much took the Falcons out of a big play. Just by sheer play design. You know what I'm saying? Sheer play design. All play design. So you got to do a better job of just designing plays for your players, man. And, and like I said, I just don't like that play. All these hook routes, man. These hook routes are just, it's just, everything is just clouded, man. Got to do a better job of just designing plays, man. We're going to go to the next one. Um, Kind of see what this this play is kind of give an idea um, if it's a good play or bad play. Again,
Hater is a play that I, 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 I like the concept. I like what they did here. Um, I'm going to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, just let it go. I think this is a great play design. I think this is a great play design. And not only does it allow these guys to use their athleticism, but this is something that I've been, you know, complaining about all year. Ty Girl is a guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's a great receiver out of the backfield. Edo Smith, Brown Hill, these guys are pretty good receivers out of the backfield. And this play is exactly what they need to do more of. I have no idea why they don't do more of this. These guys are not only great running backs, but they're great, good receivers out of the backfield. This is just a great play design. Falcons need to do more of this. This not only gets the ball out of his hands, but it uses the running back's ability to receive and use his legs and get the ball out of hand so Matt Ryan won't have to catch, you know, throw the damn ball too much and get hit so much by these big defenses. So I think this is a great play design. Falcons just need to do more of this, man. Let these guys be playmakers. It really is that simple. Let these guys be playmakers. This is an excellent play design. And it, again, man, you know, Tom, Todd Gurley is still a good player, but the Falcons got to do better with that. I like that play. Go on to the next one. Again, this is another play that I absolutely love, man. Again, you have these running backs. You know, it didn't go for a big game, but if you got, you know, a guy like Edo Smith, um, who's very elusive in um, the passing game, man, this play can, you know, not only get the ball, be an alternative to get the ball out of Matt Ryan and let these guys be athletes, um, but it prevents Matt Ryan from getting hit so much gotta protect our quarterback not only with pass protection but play calling and this is another way you know this is something that the the saints do a great job of uh, i mean the saints the chiefs these guys do a great job of getting the ball out of patrick mahomes hands out of drew Brees' hands and letting their athletes be athletes this is another play didn't go for a lot didn't get a lot but it got the ball out of his hand and it got the ball you know it protect Matt Ryan from continuously taking all these damn hits gotta protect our quarterbacks man with better play call I love this play go on to the next play you're gonna see it from um, the pretty side again man I just I, I love the play design um, to be able to just let these guys be athletes man um, again, man, just a good play design. I want to see the Falcons use more of this. All right, this is a play. Huh, uh, we're just going to see it play unfold. I this this is a play. Uh, this is another reason why I continue to say Falcons just do it, it's so much vertical. Falcons just attacking vertical, 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 vertical. vertical. Um, just, I, I just don't like Falcon constantly attacking vertical and not use letting these guys be athletes and and just 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 get just get the ball in their hand and they and just use their their ability to run after the catch. Yes, he completed, but it's like you got to do a better job of just like attacking. You know these guys horizontal not always vertical man I, I like me personally i don't like it even though i know matt ryan can make that throw i don't like the play call here gotta allow these guys to be athletes and use these big bodies to get other people you know the ball so that play i'm not a fan of all right I'm gonna go to the next play um kind of let this unfold I think this is one of the plays I really love. This is a play that I absolutely love. Like this, oh my God, this play is absolutely beautiful. Like I always complain about, you know, creativity. Um, and not that Dirt Cutter can't call great plays, man, but they haven't done a lot of this. They don't allow these guys to be great athletes. They just don't allow these guys to be great athletes. And Russell Gage is one of those guys 
who can run after the catch. He can use this. So, like, if the Falcons use this, do these things, do more of these, and let the athletes be athletes, man, and get that ball out of Matt Ryan so he won't have to do so much on his own. Just let these guys be athletes. Falcons have great athletes on their on their squad. So, they continue to do more of this, man. Let Russell Gage be Russell Gage, man, and use his ability to run after the catch. The Falcons would be a very... Um, a, a very dangerous team. Just got to get the ball out of their hand, man. Let these guys be athletes. I love this play call by Dirk Cutter. I'm just using his creativity, man. Can't continuously use the same stuff over and over again to, you know, and expect the Falcons or any team to kind of, uh, um, you know, to just bow down to them. They're going to figure out. This is the NFL. They're going to figure out what you're doing simple as that so let me know what you guys think about this this has been a breakdown um pros and cons of the atlanta falcons offense um dirt cutter uh, what his what went wrong what didn't go wrong you know what went wrong what went positive um let me know what you guys think about this you guys have a specific player that you want me to do a short breakdown on leave your comments in the comment section of this video continue to support your boy here at Matt Mike Sports um, go to Atlanta Falcons Nation please go to Atlanta Falcons Nation help us get to 1,000 subscribers on Atlanta Falcons Nation thank you guys for continuing to support me um, us at Atlanta Falcons Nation but your boy Matt Mike is out man peace